drinks, I can manage myself. My name is Mark Klein. I've been doing stand-up comedy for a living for about 35 years. My schedule is a patchwork quilt, cruise ships, corporate events, moose elk, eagle lodges, country clubs, resort properties. I'm in the Bahamas two weeks every year. I'm on cruise ships about eight weeks out of the year. I still throw in some nightclub uh, comedy club work. I do a saloon show every now and again. I have a squeaky clean show for corporations and business meetings, chambers of commerce. Uh, that's what excites me about the comedy that I do is I get a wide variety of performing venues throughout the year. Well, I started a long time ago and I started my career in strip joints. Really? The first stage time I got as a comedian were uh, in, in between young ladies who were removing their clothing and then I would go on and tell jokes in between. I needed money to stay in college and uh, I knew there was a strip joint not too terribly far away up upstate New York and uh, I went up there and knew that sometimes comics perform in places like that and I said I can learn some jokes and sure enough they I started working places like that and that's, that's how I got my start. Yeah. I went to Colgate University in upstate New York. My degree is in English the most useless degree when an undergraduate can aspire, um, <laughs> except mean, for art history. I mean, you know, oh, the usual yeah. suspects. <laughs> so I'm, an, I'm an English major, and, I've been, and as it turns out, as, as odd as it, as it seems, being an English major it helps me. It helps me write, helps me craft jokes. Mm -hmm. uh, I was always a voracious reader, mm -hmm. and so uh, the comedy that I do kind of reflects a, a, a pretty good round body of knowledge in terms of just being read in various areas. I've got one all-time favorite. Um, about five years into my career, I was beginning to headline some really good rooms, A rooms around the country. One of them was in Raleigh, North Carolina, a pretty famous club called Charlie Goodnights. And my father was in the furniture business. And he was at a furniture convention in High Point, North Carolina, about an hour's drive from Raleigh. And he brought three of his furniture pals from the convention to come see my show. And they came on a Saturday night, sold out room, packed audience. And I had one hell of a good show. I could see my father in the audience with his three friends just nudging him, going, look, that's my son up there. And it's, uh, I'm, Michelle, I'm tearing up now thinking about it. It's my, my favorite memory of being on stage in, in my career. It would be very unusual for me to perform without a tie. I yep. like to be the best dressed performer on the show. I think a performer should be the best dressed person in the room. I'm not one of those guys that can go on stage in his street clothes or in his t-shirt and jeans or his cap on. Or I, Plus, I'm, I'm not a kid. I'm not 24 years old. I'm not 34. I should dress like a man my age, like an adult. And so uh, I almost always will have a tie on during my show. When I write, custom material for corporations when I, and when I write for business events, I sit down at my computer and I write like a writer writes. When I write for a nightclub, I tend to do that more verbally and orally. I'll bounce more stuff off my comic friends um, and, and test stuff out that way. So depending on for whom I'm writing, the, the process is different for every client. You can reach me on Facebook uh, sporadically. I, I'll check in. I, I lurk a lot and post uh, rather on a, seldom, not, not terribly much. My um, website is corpjester.com, C-O-R-P-J-E-S-T-E-R.com, corp like corporate, jester like jester.com. Uh, and my phone number and email are on there. I'm easy to find, easy to reach. And uh, I, I, like, I like jokes. I like people to tell me jokes. I like telling people jokes. And this is the greatest way to make a living I can imagine. Hmm. I haven't had a real job since I can remember. Hmm. The challenge of, uh, to do message-driven humor, especially in a nightclub, is to make it not preachy. Yeah. So you want to put your message in there, but they have to be laughing. Or you, what are they doing here? So I try to have a, a comfortable mix for everyone. You're going to hear something, and you're going to laugh as well. The older you get, the more you realize that the only thing you truly have in life is time. Nobody knows how much. I don't waste an audience's time with things that aren't meaningful, and I don't like them wasting my time with, with a lot of chatter and, and craziness out in the crowd. Uh, it's an exchange. It's not a monologue. It's a dialogue, and I try to respect my audience's time. So when I'm on stage, I'm trying to do things that have 
meaning and from which they can draw meaning. It's still funny. It's supposed to be funny. 